All right, folks, today we are going to be doing the vowel draft. So basically, their first or last name needs to start with A-E-I-O-U, and I'm going to allow Y. To the sir out there that's leaving the comments about, you know, do the draft where the first last name has to be A and then B, C, go all the way to Z, like, I, I would do that, but I think that's going to be kind of tough, especially with some of the letters, and then it would f sort of feel incomplete, if that makes sense. So I do like the idea, but... I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and randomize the team here. Boom. Vancouver. All right. Let's do it. Fantasy drafts on. Head coach edit lines. Come on. Jabroni. You should know by now, honestly. It's, it's getting ridiculous. Player morale on, but I'll turn it off. Well, the meetings. <laughs> that probably makes no sense. People, if they're, this is their first video, they're probably like, what is going on? Well, everybody, let's start the career. Which draft pick are we going to obtain? I have a feeling that it's going to be... In the middle somewhere. Let's go with 14. That's my guesstimate, but we finna find out real quick. Wow, was I wrong. I mean, we could take Kopitar because Anze, or we could take Petrangelo. Ooh, Pietrangelo. Yeah, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one because it is Alex. That's an A. Yeah, why not? Let's take Petrangelo. Screw it. Sign him up. Our next pick's pretty much going to be instantly anyway, so, you know, we'll still get a very, very solid player here once again but then we're gonna have a huge gap unfortunately see it's very unfortunate but i feel like if i want to get a decent goaltender frederick anderson is probably our best bet and yeah i mean we kind of have to take him now because our next pick is going to be so far away so i'm just gonna take freddy i suppose oel qualifies because first name oliver oh so there we go alexander radulov there it is so yeah, that's uh, the second Alex now we have picked up. I'm going to pick up Ekholm because of that salary. It's honestly unbeatable. It really is. Oshi, let's go. Timothy Jimothy all day. Yes, please. Andre Palat, why not? 5.3 million, 84 overall. The cap is still, you know, we still have a decent chunk, but we also have drafted not a lot of players here. So this is gonna get interesting i can imagine evgeny dadanov we will now have three right wingers but you know what I'm, I'm assuming one of them can play on the left side one of them probably has decent face-offs too so i'm not too concerned might as well continue on and just take another right winger in jordan everly you know just because i want to take anders lee but that seven million is just not great but whatever i'll take him anyway hopefully we can find some players with some lower salaries Ooh, we could take eric stall nice all right yeah 1.6 and a center he's probably gonna be our first line centerman at 83 overall i love that for us let's take our third alex this time it's gonna be Kalorn. there it is 4.4 milli so we could take alex and have another alex or we could take dell do i take another <laughs> i think i do gotta have another alex right technically we could also take jake allen but that's definitely not gonna happen because he's making 4.3 so let's let's take another alex alec martinez 4 million he's one of the cheaper ones probably left here so yeah let's sign that lad up and you know we still need a fair amount of players here so we're probably gonna go a little bit over the cap but we'll see maybe we somehow be able to stay within Ah, eh, we could take another right winger i'm not too worried about it plus he's also slash center and has 78 face offs so achari you could definitely play down the middle i'll take another right winger i don't care ul armia guy's sick so let's go ahead and pick him up at 2.6 so we pretty much need two more forwards and two more defensemen and we're done here but we have five million dollars of cap space so i'm really trying to search here chase on two million that's still you know little bit but i mean at least we get another alex so i think we have to i want to take eller but man we're gonna be over the cap oh you know what screw the cap i'm just gonna do it this time we'll try to find two defensemen that aren't making crazy money and yeah we'll probably be a little bit over but it's it is what it is i just like i say in the other videos i kind of just use it as a guideline so that i'm not just picking up you know whoever and it's like another extra part to the challenge, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah, there we go, Zavi. Ulet. Nice, 79. Defensive defenseman. Basically league minimum. Why not? I'm pretty sure we haven't taken a single I yet. So I guess Matt Irwin. Irwin, why did I say it like that? What is wrong with me? And now my voice cracks. This is just an absolute disaster. Matt Irwin. Left slash right defenseman. Making 700k. Yep, here we go. That's our final pick. Well, here it is. Let's go put this team together. And I don't know. I really don't know how we're going to do. If I had to assume based off of this, I would say not very good. But I mean, you never really know. 
Ooh, with best lines, we actually do have some chemistry here. I'm a fan of that. Let's go. Technically, I didn't draft this guy, but his first name does start with a vowel. Because, you know, anti. So, who's supposed to be here, though? Uh, it's not Fortan, who also has a vowel. It is Armia. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to toss in Armia regardless. And it still stays at plus one. That's fire. He has 65 face-off, 65, and 65. So that doesn't really matter. Somehow I found a way to get plus three chemistry on the last line. So I'm going to leave that as is. And I don't know if there's anything I could do to... Ooh, if I put Anders Lee here, that's also a plus three. Okay, so now I got to jumble these lines a little bit here. And see if I can get something decent. Ooh, okay, if I put Everly there, so I can switch. Ah, uh, they both shoot. Does Radulov... Radulov shoots left. He can play left wing. Screw him. And then Eller... Could probably go in the middle here, because I'm assuming he has the better face-off. 76. Nope. He does not. So there you go. Eller can play on the wing. Kaloran on the left side. All right. What's Anders Lee's face-off? 78. All right. Decent. Okay. Well, we got some decent chemistry somehow. Managed to pull that off. Oh. Don't like to see that. All right. What can we do here? I got to jumble some stuff. I'm just going to put Martinez on the last pair here with Erwin, and then we'll move Ouellette up. So that's plus one, plus one, and zero. I just, actually, hold on. Let me just double check. So that's everyone we drafted. Oh, I also realized that Ekman Larson, I said based off of his first name, right? Oliver, but... And it also his last name, Ekman. So, yeah. Well, regardless, I think we are good here. And then just double check here quick. But I think we are good. Eric Stahl, that scared me for a second. Okay... And, yeah, we're good. Okay, goaltenders, Anderson, and... St okay, we're good. First or last name starts with a vowel. And, yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in this team, but we'll see what happens. Just because, I'm going to say Timothy Jimothy Oshi gets the most uh, points. Going to get, I don't know, let's say 76. And I'm going to say that the team finishes with 40... 44 wins. Not exactly the start I was hoping for with this team, but you know, still tons of time to bounce back. For some reason, I feel like I haven't seen this message in a while. It always shows up though, right? I don't know. That's weird. I would say playoffs are looking kind of unlikely, but our division appears to be fairly weak. So we might actually stand a chance considering we are pretty much in a playoff spot with a record of 20 and 20. Oh, we just fell hardcore. Those two losses killed us. All right. Well, I don't get it, man. Like, I, I don't know. The team is bad, but it's not, like, that bad. I guess we are doing all right. Eh, it's just weird. But I still honestly feel like chemistry does nothing. Like, I guarantee you if I go back and just do best lines now instead, and the chemistry is not as good, it's going to be, like, we're going to do much better. So this is what it wants for best lines. It's all plus one, which is actually still decent. It wants minus three between these two, but okay, if that's the best lines, EA... And there we go. All right. All right, never mind. Update. We still suck. So let's go to uh, keep the current trading block. And let's just see who is available at this deadline. Just for curiosity's sake. Dougie Hamilton. We got Bufflin, Suter, Muzzin, Edler, Yarmulsim, Razik. All right, you know what? Let's try to make a trade here. We're going after another Alex. We're going for Alex Ovechkin. <laughs> just because why not? I still don't think this trade's going to... Well, it might. Are we overpaying? I doubt it. I'll add this guy back if we have to, but let's just see what happens here. Anders Lee and a first for Alex Ovechkin. Boom. And rejected. All right, well, let's add the other guy back just because why not? Sick and tired of losing in these. It's so annoying. All right, Thomas, get in there. Thompson, sorry. Boom. Still rejected. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll add this guy too. Get him out of here. I don't want him. Proposed trade. Seriously? First and a second. You, are, are you kidding? What do you mean you have a thing called a trade block? I'm doing decent. For Barkov, will it go through? No, it won't. Lovely. For Malkin, if the other ones didn't go through, this one definitely isn't. It's not there whatsoever. Well, clearly that little trade value thing down there then means literally nothing. All right, I give up on trading. Let's get out of here. No, sir. I will not be participating in your trade deadline, apparently. Gallagher, Doomlin, and a third to Detroit in exchange for a first... Uh, I really don't. I feel like I've heard that guy's name pronounced, but I'm not even going to give it a shot. And Woods. All right. Anyway, let's keep going and not make the playoffs. Or we could go 4-0 and after the trade deadline. And now that I'm saying something, we're going to lose to Toronto. I almost guarantee it. Mm -hmm. no oh, Edmonton, we actually won. We're basically still bordering a playoff spot. Like, it's, it's very doable still. 
if we could just get like some more wins here, which I think is just ridiculous. But anyway, here we go. We're second in our division all of a sudden. What the heck happened? And now we're going to lose the last three and not make it because EA Sports, it's in the game. All right, here we go. We have, oh, we actually, I, I don't know what to tell you. We finished with 87 points, 40 wins. And we are in the playoffs. We finished third in the Pacific. We had a weak division. And Pittsburgh won the Presidents with 53 wins, 114 points. Let's just scroll down here real quick. Definitely not going to be the top 16 teams that made it. That's for sure. And yeah, 18th place Edmonton Oilers managed to find their way in. So good for them. Anders Lee led the team with 60 points. And he's up to 85 overall. Okay, good stuff. That's weird, but all right. Petrangelo at 59, Oshi 57. Let's just scroll through the whole team. I don't remember putting him in, but at the same time, still has a vowel, so, you know, it is what it is. Wait, was that another Alex? It was another Alex! Holy crap. All right, goalies. How did we do here? They did not bad, actually. They did pretty good. Austin Matthews, one of the guys I was trying to trade for, but couldn't get the cap to work, and it wouldn't have gone through anyway, apparently, but yeah. 107 points, wins himself the Art Ross. And in terms of goaltenders, we have Varlamov with 43 wins, 73 games, a 9-11 save percentage, and a 267 GAA. I'm pretty sure it was Pittsburgh that won the president, so let's just have a look at their team here. They got Kucherov, Backstrom, Yamamoto, Duclair, Nurse, Mantha. They do have a very, very solid team here. They even got Petrie. They got Rudolph's Balsers. Yeah, they have a good team. Who do they have in net? They have Blackwood. So yeah, it's a solid goaltender. And Yorgiev as the backup. Time to get rinsed in the first round here against the Yotes. And let's go ahead and simulate. Boom, boom. Let's see what happens here. The Yotes. We win the first game. So we're not getting rinsed at least. Okay, we win game number two. And game number three is an L. Game number four is a win. Wow. All right, we beat them in five. And let's continue here. We got the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. E. A 7-3 loss in game one. A. Oh. All right. Okay. A little bit of a bounce back here. Uh, oh my word. We actually made it. Are you kidding me, man? Holy crap. We are in the conference finals here. And we are up one game to none against the Colorado Avalanche. Okay. We're up 2-1. Oh. Are they going to... Oh my word. We pushed it all the way to game seven of the conference finals, man. Oh, this simulation engine never lets me down. And they ended up winning the cup, which means we had a genuine shot at winning the cup. Radulov with 16 points in 19 games. Out of boy, Raddy. All right, well, let's go check out the team that just won the cup. Colorado, who is on their roster? They also put us out in the conference finals. So Colorado, they have Giroux, Huberdo, Reinhardt, Line, Atkinson, Verhage. I'm just kind of going through here, but they do have... A very solid team, I must admit. In net, they have... Okay. Well, they don't have the best goaltending, but they do have 283s that clearly got the job done. Here is the award, so we knew that one. And there you have it. Okay, so let's go to the individual. We got Matthews with the Art Ross. Hart goes to Marchand. Nurse with the Norris. Matthews with the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Jimmy Superstar. Fire me up. I don't think I've seen that one really before. Giroud with the Conn Smythe, Vezina to Markstrom, Blackwood gets the Jennings, Masterton goes to Alexiak, Keeping with the Jack Adams, Couturier with the Selkie, Marchand with the Lindsay, and Matthews with the Rocky Richard. Here's the overall playoff tree for anyone that is interested, and yeah, that's that. So somehow we went from sucking to sneaking into the playoffs with 40 wins to making it to the conference finals. I don't know, man. But you know what? I guess Montreal kind of did that this year. They... Just, I think they barely made it in the playoffs, right? I think, it, yeah. Because they ended up facing Toronto, who won first. So it was between two teams that Toronto was going to play. It was either going to be Montreal or Winnipeg. And then I think they ended up with Montreal. Well, they did. So, yeah. I guess Montreal was the last team in the division to make it in. And now they're in the finals. So, I guess, could happen. And I think when LA won one of their cups, they did something very similar to that. But anyways, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just take it for what it is. And there you go, guys. We ended up making it all the way to the conference finals, pushed Colorado to seven, but they got the better of us, unfortunately. So that's that draft, the vowels, and thank you for watching. If you have any other draft ideas, leave them below.